Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. You may notice that there's a lot of shit everywhere, and that's because I have a lot of shit everywhere. I, I can't really change that. I The shelves are full. So I thought, hey, why not add more shit to my ever-growing collection? And I decided to seek out Marissa and actually ended up finding her. As you guys know, I always tell a story of how I found the doll, so let me do that real quick. I promise it won't take long. I started off ordering the doll online at Walmart. I just googled Marissa Golding Rainbow High, and she popped up as being in stock on the website for not $120, because that's how much some scalper on the Walmart website wants for her. Don't pay more than $50 for her. She is in stock, guys. She is in stock. <laughs> but um, it was available for store pickup. So we are going to the store. Then my mom gets an email saying that it's out of stock now. And we're like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, because... Why was she in stock the night before, only to say that she's out of stock? So anyway, we go to the store, because it still says she's in stock in the store. I find, like, ten of her in the store. So, Walmart lied to me, for some reason. They're like, oh, sorry, we don't have one for your store pickup order. But we do have ten in the store for you to go view individually, which is ultimately better, because all of them had screwed up lips. It was so hard to find a Marissa with half-decent lips and decent eyeshadow and eyebrows, because one of them had chipped eyebrows. I didn't buy that one, because why would I buy one with chipped eyebrows? But in short, my slumber party collection is finally complete. You gave me a lot of grief. I don't, I don't know why you were so difficult to find. <laughs> but I got her, she's in my possession, and now these three girls will finally be reunited. So let us begin with her review. You know, honestly, the best thing about going to a store and finding 10 of something means you get to pick the best of it, because... I honestly do think I got the best Marissa that the store that I went to had to offer. I made sure that she had good eye placement in addition to good eye makeup, good eyebrows, because the eyebrow placement, when they have like these long, thick brows, you want to make sure that you get like a really good placement so it looks even. I think I got the best Marissa that I possibly could have. I'm very happy with the way she looks. But of course, I will be way happier once we get her out of the box, so let's take a quick look at everything and then move on to the unboxing process. Her box is mostly yellow and red because that's how all Rainbow High boxes look. I don't know why I'm acting like you guys have never seen a Rainbow High box before. I don't know why reviewers do that. But anyway, we got all of her leopard print things. I think it's leopard or is it cheetah? Are leopards and cheetahs different? I don't care. We turn her around and her... <laughs> what happened to you? Did you have that the whole time? <laughs> Brianna's face is still not shiny. So she looks really weird in the artwork. Like, no matter what angle you go from, Mar like, she doesn't look right. But Marissa and Robin look fine. I think it's because they actually have some of the shininess over their faces. Or maybe it's just more visible because, like, it's already red on the side of the box. I don't know. I don't know why I'm complaining about that here. Meet the leaders of the super secret Sleepover Society at Rainbow High's Bodies Hot Gossip Relaxation. Get out of the box. It's time. I've been using the um, underneath method. Here's your thing, by the way. You guys wanna scan that? I'm sure everyone has seen that before though. I've been using the method where you like cut all of the um, tape underneath and then slide everything out. Because like from the top, I don't feel like it's meant to be that way because all of the things are on this side and there's no way to open it from right here because all of the things like line the box here. So it's like more confusing to go from the top. It's much easier to just open the box from the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do. So once you have all the little tabs out, you just open it from here. And then you can just slide everything out. <laughs> of course, start with the doll because the other things are sticking out the front of the package. So that'll give you a bit of a headache. Did I tell you guys one of the dolls at the store was just straight up, like, this was missing? This thing was missing, and when I saw that, I got so pissed. But then I realized the store had ten others, and the thing was actually still there. So it just fell off, and they moved it to a different section. So weird. Anyway, here is the doll. So here is Marissa's box. Marissa. Marissa's sleeping bag. Marissa's outfit. And Marissa's shoes. And everything has fallen over, because of course it did. I feel like going in reverse today, so here are Marissa's second shoes. They are platforms. I've always wanted platforms like these. They're cool. And of course, underneath, they are branded with RH and they say rainbow. If it would focus on that. You want to focus for me, camera? Whatever. Take my word for it. Why would I lie to you? Everything on this damn line, everything in these dolls are branded with rainbow. You can't escape it. 
They leave rainbow behind everywhere they go. Thought I was going to throw it, didn't you? I just dropped it. I'm civilized. Then, of course, there's Marissa's second outfit. And, uh... Honestly, I think this is the most basic second outfit that we've ever gotten. Like, it... That looks better. It looks better. This isn't bad. That's not to say that this is bad. But definitely, it's less interesting. Like, it's just a tracksuit that says rainbow on it and has, like, a couple little, like... What is that? Is this like, Adidas? I don't know anything about brands. I'm, like... Like, y'all are like, oh, it's a reference to this brand. And I'm like... Okay, I don't know what that brand is. Why can't I? My brute strength is not coming through. But yeah, y'all will be like, oh, this is a Gucci Couture Juicy Rainbow um, Supreme R E. <laughs> it's a cute outfit, though. It's well made. It's just a little, little basic. But I, I mean, I guess that's the point because they're like all about comfort and stuff. And Marissa doesn't seem like the type to really go all out with her outfits. She'll just kind of wear whatever's comfortable. And this definitely looks comfortable. So I'll just remove it from the mannequin. So there we go. Marissa's second outfit. Very chill. Very comfy. Very... I don't think any of my dolls are ever going to wear those except for maybe the sneakers. I'm considering giving them to the restyled Ruby. So that means next is the sleeping bag, so... Brute strength, don't fail me now. Yeah. Pretty cute. It says RH all over the inside. Because of course it does. And has a real working zipper. Cute pillow. Very flat on the other side. That is good. That's exactly how a sleeping bag should be. And then there is this large plastic ring secured by millions of separate ties. That was always my least favorite part. That's why I saved this for the end. I don't like doing that. I'd rather free Marissa than do that. MGA be like, oh, we're so environmentally conscientious, and then they put all this plastic and all these little plastic ties. Like, y'all don't need to do that. It would keep its shape without this thing. Even then, who cares if this thing keeps its shape? It's a sleeping bag. It's not that, it's not that serious. It's never that serious. Why can't I cut these ties? So there we go. Working zipper. Pretty cool. And then there's the pillow with the large rainbow high tie. Just to stick that in there. So you don't want to see it, just put it in there and then throw it at the doll. <laughs> I thought it was going to fall down. Okay. Enough being easily amused. We've opened all the unnecessary things. Now we need to open the necessary thing. Cleo, get out of here. Cleo and Julia just go like, sit over there or something. I don't know. Okay. It is finally Marissa's turn. Dude, her leg is deformed. It looks like she's got a bruise or something. No, oh, that looks like some kind of, like, lump. It looks like a bug bite, like Peter Parker's golf ball-sized spider bite on his frickin' hand. Look, at the other one doesn't look like that. What happened to you? I thought I picked the good one. Oh, cringe. Cringe. Does your, like, leg still bend? Does your leg bend? Can you- Can you articulate? Can you articulate? Yes, you can. Oh, it looks worse, though. Oh. Oh. What did they do to you? Why are you melted? Nasty Spider-Man spider bites aside, she looks good in terms of the articulation. You guys know I always check the arms to make sure that they have a full range of motion to prevent another Daphne incident. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just check out my Daphne review on this channel. Or the I tried to review Daphne video. Because, um... Well, her arm fell off. Spoiler alert. So, <laughs> that has me, like, permanently terrified it's gonna happen again. So I always check the doll's articulation while she's still attached to the packaging. And that's usually why I check the doll first. Because I don't want that to happen again. So, reviewing everything else first was a huge risk. But it paid off. She's fine, other than the melted leg. MGA, you need to fix your shit. This is- this is unacceptable. I forgot they include these now. I'm gonna scan this and tell them they sent me a fucked up doll because they did. Oh. Oh, perfect. Yes. Um, 
how can you um how can we improve this how can ways to improve this product where was that one there was a thing that said that where did it go am i blind uh do you have suggestions to improve the product um don't do this fix that also stop doing the hair it makes her hair look so bad like another little quick complaint but the hair being all gelled up like this like number one the crunch is back you guys remember the crunch because it's back <laughs> it makes the hair look so shitty like there's like these little sections that hang off and then they like fall off completely and it's like ugh, why do they do that to you i'm gonna need to wash her hair you need a washing very badly but she's so pretty i really love her face and i didn't know she had a beauty mark mm, i really like her she's very pretty in person so here is Marissa, completely unboxed, and I must say that I actually really like her composition a lot. One thing that I like about the sleepover line that makes me prefer it over the Rockstars collection is that these dolls have a set color. I don't like the way the Rockstar girls look because, because the theme for them is rainbow, they're more locked in to like having to have a rainbow in their design somewhere. And we end up with ugly ass dolls like Lyric Lucas with hideous makeup. But with these girls, they actually like, I feel like they got the balance a little better. Like with dolls like Robin and of course, um, <laughs> you can't see her. <laughs> and um, you know, Marissa. I feel like they did a good job actually balancing the colors for once. I think they chose the perfect um, skin tone, eye color and hair color for Marissa. Like this like blonde goldish tone is really nice, but of course, the crunch so um she will need her hair washed and let me show you what she looks like from behind when you move this part which is the only piece of her hair it's held up by her leopard ponytail she's like <laughs> at least you can see she's rooted decently but the way her hair has to be pulled off like that it just like looks so bad and oh my god they wrote sparkle on her ass of course they did I really like her robe piece. It looks like, she looks like a boxer. That's definitely what a lot of people were saying before and she does look like a boxer. <laughs> but I kind of like the aesthetic. It makes me think she's kind of like a tomboy and I kind of like it. I like the, her top and her shorts a lot more in person and her slippers are of course so cute. These are adorable. They have little um, rhinestones for eyes and something for a nose. A little like button, I guess. Very cute. She's a very well-made doll. I really like her. Would I say that she's worth $50? Because of the unpredictable quality, it's best to check in the store. Make sure you look at everything, including the legs, because even the legs can be screwed up now. But um, yeah, I would say she's worth the price if you like her enough. But personally, I would wait until these dolls go on sale for like maybe 30 or below. Which honestly, I can't see happening anytime soon, so... If you want them, just go to your Walmart and um, pay for her. Just just pay for her. I'm not about to suggest that y'all start stealing. Do not start stealing. <laughs> but yeah, overall, Marissa is gorgeous and I really like her. Now I will be going to wash her hair. Thank you all so much for watching this video and as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.